What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. I thought I would sort of talk about health as I make pork belly. Let me tell you right now, pork belly is amazing. Now I go and I buy my pork belly. Turn the camera on. This is really gonna be janky. I buy my pork belly from a butcher, as you can see. So, dripping, right? And what I do is it comes in a whole ass chunk, and then I just have them cut it into bacon strips. So bacon strips are pretty friggin' amazing. They're uncured. This is what I ask you guys to do. Now this was four ninety nine for almost two pounds of pastured pork. What did I say? You guys got to find the right butchers. When you're doing the bacon, right, they'll take the belly of the pig and they'll either hang it for 10 days, they'll hang it for 30 days, which is a, a dry or wet aging process. The longer that pig is hanging, the more bacteria is grown on it. So that's why they cure it, right? They soak it in. Look how thick that sucker is. You see that? Yummies. Now this is, as you can see, this is a good slice. It's mostly made up of fat, but there is enough meat on this to get the potassium and the, the phosphorus. And believe it or not, selenium is in this pork fat. People are always saying, like, isn't pork fat high in omega-3s? It also has monounsaturated fat, saturated fats, so it's not just polys. And the Okinawans, one of their primary sources of meat comes from, wink, wink, you know, sow, pig, Swedish, they say, sveen, sveen. <laughs> Um, hog here, they call it in the South. So funny. But a lot of you guys who are having a histamine reaction will do much better with fresh pork belly rather than bacon. So bacon often has sodium nitrates in it. And you're just going to like Ralph's or Kroger's or Sam's Club and all this and people get real happy i love my little propane heater people will get really happy because um it's such a perfect little tasty snack and you can go and put it in a little tupperware go off to work and just literally finger eat it as snack or food and you don't actually snack to feed you because right, people are like, I don't do snacks. You snack to keep your blood sugar stable. Now, a lot of you guys have very, very unstable blood sugar because you have developed dysglycemia from eating carbohydrates and, you know, having a lot of insulin secretion, bolus amounts that try to overshoot. So your body tries to release insulin to take down the blood sugar. And if you do this over time, it's like your pancreas is just like bleh, insulin, bleh, insulin. And then your body is just cranking out the blood sugar because of stress, because of overtraining, undertraining. Like literally our body can make sugar out of itself. Like you don't have to eat any carbs to have diabetic high numbers of sugar. Actually protein, see the protein on here? This piece has a little strip of protein. If you have too much protein, no, not on pork belly, obviously, because pork belly is so high in fat. But obviously, you see this? We got you in frame. I'm living in an RV camper, my people, until I build my house, which hopefully, hopefully, is soon. Uh, it's going to be a barndo. It's going to be a barndo minium. But, um, I think the, 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 the misconception about, diets, food, the individual health, everyone is so freaking different. And that's what a lot of people do not understand. Um, 
Let's turn this down. You guys won't be able to hear me. The crazy thing is, and I'm not going to, you know, stream the entire process because I got to cook a whole couple pounds of this stuff right there. But up in here, I have that in there. Yeah. Up in here, we have um, from the other pork fat, other bacon, pork belly I made before. It is so amazing to cook with. That's another thing because pork fat, animal fat, has a higher heat point than your olive oil and your coconut oil. Believe it or not, coconut oil smokes quite easily. Olive oil, when that smokes, and the coconut oil, it's like, it's not worth it. It's just clogging your arteries at that point. It's just oxidizing. But animal fat, because, you know, I have animal fat on me, can sustain high heat in the desert and can withstand super cold temperatures without oxidizing. And that's why we do so well with animal fats. The problem is, is that so many people have gallbladder issues because of poor functioning liver, too much estrogen, um, not having enough variety of foods that will sort of dissolve the cholesterol from backing up in your gallbladder. So yeah, and pretty much having running around with high blood sugar and not sleeping well. But as I cook this here pork belly, oh, it's the best. Um, I've learned so much since I started living this way. Oh, here comes my damn horse. It's not dinner time. I don't know if you guys can see him. There he is. There is my horse. But he will try to drive me cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs because I've been inside all day working for you guys, trying to teach you guys how to be healthy, how not to fast, right? How not to be afraid of pork and how it's such great, the fat, pork fat is so great for the brain. I learned this when my mother went through brain injury after having a glioblastoma and surviving it. Um, so... Lauric acid in your medium chain fatty acids of like coconut oil are good for the grain, brain in a virgin sense. And pork fat is really great for the brain as well. And like I said, the Okinawans, the centurions that live over 100, they eat a lot of pork. So when people are like, oh my God, it's high in omega-6 and it's so bad, you know, it's not clearly. I think the problem with the quality of pork is coming from where you buy it from. In the supermarket's not the place. It's just not, we can't really trust our food anymore. Unfortunately, you got to know where your food is coming from and it's people find it to be a pain in the butt, but I find it to be quite advantageous to know where it's coming from. But when people are having potassium deficiencies and they're having um, other mineral issues, like people who are, let's say are eating they're not doing seafood because they might be sensitive to it. So they might be doing, uh, I mean, like sea animals and they might be doing kelp, dried kelp for the iodine, not the potassium iodide. That's not good. Um, and then you've got selenium in your pork. It's just so good for you. This, the bacon is such a great way to use as a snack, literally when you're on the go, it's like, a strip, this is going to shrink exponentially. But you see all that fat? See that? Well, it's getting blurry if I get too close. See that fat? So basically, I can put that in a Tupperware this size, pack it with bacon, and it's mostly fat and consume it. Now, those who are having histamine, take your bacon and the fats. If you get pure fat, boil it. That gets bacteria off if you're having a histamine reaction to lard. So beef trimmings and fat trimmings for those who are like crazy mast cell activation, boiling your fat is kind of weird, but it's next level and it's actually palatable. Yeah. So as my bacon is cooking, I'm going to uh, remind you guys that I'm doing a challenge. And yeah, there are certain stumble roadblocks that slow me down on the challenge, which is Trying to take care of my mom, 
trying to uh, get, work with a ton of contractors to get this house built. And like, I have to nag people because people don't want to work no more. So I got to nag everybody and nag them, nag them. I got to nag my web guy. Um, and then there's me. Then there's all this content that I have to create. So I'm creating a flow chart. And then I want to have prizes. And I'm trying to figure out what kind of prizes. I was thinking about doing a retreat for the winners. Um, and then the challenges themselves, like the lessons, those, I think I got most of them done. I have to film them all. And then I have to create prizes for people to incentivize people and then trying to get people to invite their friends to come and join. Now I want people to learn something from this. So you guys walk away, spend $30 for a dollar a day for a month, 30 days. And then at the same time, I'm able to use the proceeds to complete this home and build a really good structure for all my rescued animals that I love, especially Thunder. I'm going to be doing a video soon on my journey with Thunder because it's, it's like, seriously, it's a, it's a, it's a sad story. It's a happy story. Ultimately it's a happy story, obviously, because we made it here, but I took an abused horse and I did everything. I dedicated my life to him. Moving to Tennessee was for him, this land was for him. Getting the other animals was for him because I never, ever wanted to see him ever struggle again and go through depression. It's really weird to see such a big animal as like over a thousand pounds be depressed. So now he's just as happy as can be because if he wanted to bug me right now, he could. So as my bacon is cooking, I just want to remind you guys... I just did a video on to stop counting calories, to start paying attention to your hormones. That's why I can eat such high fat and not gain weight from it is because my body, I have nice glute four receptor development. I explained this in a prior video. I need to start going check right there or right there for the video. Um, it's a lot. I'm doing a lot by myself. So anybody wants to volunteer to be an assistant and I can train you, not train you, teach you everything I know. Just go to stephanieperson.com and, um, and uh, contact me through the, the page. Um, Cause I need someone I can trust who's wanting to learn, but all these little details that I have to keep up with are incredible because when I was challenged with this woman who was a type one and a half diabetic and she was saying that fat made her more diabetic and made her blood sugar skyrocket. I, I took the whole day to research and find out that it wasn't the fat, which I said to her prior, I said it's the fact that her glucagon wasn't working, thanks to Dr. Saivas, and also the fact that she heard, she didn't have good glut 4 receptor development, and God knows what other histamine, other toxic exposure, exposure or body or inflammatory issues that she's having, or CRP markers, the body is a very complex thing, but the more that you never give up and the more you have that self value and believe that you can overcome any health issue that's not like regrowing an arm or an organ, um, it's really incredible how the way you think impacts how your body will heal. There's something stuck up in there that is preventing you all from crossing that final bridge into your health so you've got to believe and even though the world is a little crazy right now and probably for a long time it's up to us to find our own happiness as i cook in my camper that i found on craigslist that was a crazy time i bought that last year when i was in texas when i had when i was literally homeless with a horse who was getting out of a hospital but it drove me to get this and then to find land so I could literally start working on my own happiness, right? Because the whole time I was blogging and doing videos and I'm just trying to teach you guys that, uh, let's see one of my own hairs. Um, oh, just, I mean, pork belly. Sorry, I know I'm digressing a little bit. It's a live stream. People got to understand when you're talking live and there's no editing, you're not going to flow like editing everything. I'm going to pick this up and show you guys without dropping it. 
So this will literally cook. Oh, it's divine. I can't. The taste of pork belly when it's being fried in thin strips is beyond heaven. For those who are afraid of pork, they're like, I don't eat pork. And I'm like, why? I don't. Why? Because it's unclean. I'm like, what are you talking about? Unclean. Humans are unclean. No. It's the conditions of the animal. Parasites. My horses have parasites. You have parasites. I need to go into like the whole parasite cleanse thing, but not today. I'm not sure if I'll put that on the course. I might comment below if you want me to talk about parasites on the on the course. In fact, of course, challenge. I have a course too. Sometimes I get them intertwined and mixed. My keto course, it's called keto course, but I decided to cover all three diets, low carb, fat, keto, omnivore, and carnivore. That's on, uh, you sign up through my Facebook, Facebook, my website, and it, you get access to a private Facebook group where I'm there all the time. That's another place where I'm constantly creating content and uh, answering questions and doing lives to a private group of people, uh, which is how I learned, learned about glucagon being the, the a broken glucagon being a problem for people who are having high blood sugar as, as a diabetic, but eating fat. Um, but because the answer is not to be vegan. Okay, that'll damage you for sure. But um, the course is a monthly subscription. The challenge is just one off 30 days, but it's going to be packed. It's, it takes time because I'm not just like making a book, right? I'm also filming it. And then I'm also creating the challenges for people. And uh, it's a lot. And I thought, I thought I would throw in some recipes as well. So I'm covering all three diets. It'll, it'll include uh, nutritional advice for all three, including the recipes. Yeah. Whew. Well, my people, I'm cooking this kind of low. I think I'm going to wrap it up again a bit on pork belly because I got to cook a lot. But it's just cooking in its own fat. And I'll be so happy to finally get in the house and have a proper stovetop. That's gas. Or oh, propane, one of the two. And that's that. That's that is that. I'm Stephanie. We're live. I moved from Los Angeles to Tennessee. I'm 55 years old, going on 56. Uh, I got energy for days. When you do it right, the body does you right. I mean, it's that simple. And people, y'all got to stay patient enough to let it happen. Yes, you do. Oh, I think I need to do a video between my selfie salt and my. Himalayan salt. Uh, spices, all kinds of stuff has lead in it. It's crazy. I definitely think you should go to Lead Free Mama, I think, on her website. And she has a list of all the foods that are high in lead, including our clothing and including some of our dishes. Who would have tunk? You want to know why your body's misfiring? When you think you've done everything right? Comment below, share this content. Tell me what you want on the challenge. Tell me if you like pork as much as I do. And um, you can follow me on Instagram at Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook fan page is Stephanie the Business Person. And I met this couple that has some spider monkeys. They rescued a couple of them. And what's the other third kind that everybody has? Anyway, we're going to be doing some videos together because... Just because I like to show more than just talking about nutritional facts. I think it's a little old, old and I'm out. Thank you everyone for joining my channel. Peace. Energy at 55 going on to 56, 16 years with no carbs, no starches or sweet fruits. It can be done. And now just got to learn.